Today I was with some other people that have had babies and we were all kind of poo-pooing the uh, first trimester sickness because it's not really just the first trimester. Just for the record, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> Well, not for everyone. I mean, some people are done at like 10 weeks. Some people never have it at all. But there's plenty of people who unfortunately it keeps going for quite a while. I just, I really hope I'm not one of those really lucky people who have it forever. I don't think so. But if it could just be gone, that'd be great. I cannot believe I am 15 weeks pregnant. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? just seems really crazy to me. That means I've like known that I was pregnant for like three months. It blows my mind. Uh, I'm stressed out about fixing this room into a baby room. <laughs> it's just so much to think about. I don't know what we're gonna do. At least the curtains are nice. <laughs> I like brown. I like brown for boys and girls. Perfect. There's two windows and they already have brown curtains on them. It just happens that way. I didn't even pick them up. They were here. I may have a rocking chair, which my mother rocked me in, by the way. And we have a dresser. Baby needs somewhere to sleep. So I'm pretty sure it's not sleeping on a futon. I mean, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. Actually, my stepmom says that her older sister slept in a drawer when she was first born. <laughs> because that's what her parents had. It, she was the first baby, and they pulled out a drawer in their bedroom, put a little blanket in there or something, laid her in the drawer. I guess there's nothing wrong with that really. <laughs> but I'd probably just lay the baby in like a basket or something if, you know, if it was really that desperate. Plus now they have like baby baskets, like the Moses basket, which I think is almost kind of funny. I mean, not like a bad idea, but it's funny that we make baskets specifically for putting babies in it. 